Welcome back to our channel, Beauty Made Piece by Piece. Today we are doing our Throwback Thursday. That's right, but we do have a little explaining to do. Yes, a little. We had a little problem with our data card. It was corrupted when we did our intro and outro, so everything that we do makeup wise, you will see after this. That is safe. Yeah. Once we went off camera to do, I think, lashes and show you guys our final looks that are no longer with us. <laughs> right. If you want to see these two girls transform into Brigitte Bardot and Twiggy, then just keep on watching. As always in our tutorials to save time, we do have foundation and brows on and also we have primed our eyes and today we are covering the 1960s but two very different styles from the 1960s. I am going with a more Brigitte Bardot look which was in like the later 60s, the more like natural. She was very well known for her matte brown on her lids with a super big cat eyeliner. But of course, I'm going to do a little bit of twist, do some more of a modern thing, and also, of course, add a little shimmer, because that's what we do. Right. So I'm going for the early to mid-60s mod look, specifically the twiggy look. So very androgynous, very big eyes, big lashes, subtle lips, kind of subtle cheeks. First step we're gonna do with the twiggy look is right above where your crease is, we're gonna draw an arc right there. But to be safe, and we're gonna do it in white because that's way easier to take off than it is to take off black. Right. And I'm just gonna go in with just an all over color at first. Just all over my eyes. With our BMPBP sponge applicator. into this new palette I got by BH Cosmetics. It is the Blush Neutrals palette. So pretty. It is very pretty. But I'm going to dip into this color just right here. It's just a transition color. Just kind of put that a little above my crease and in the crease just to have a nice transition through all the colors. So I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to leave this just white for right now. That way we're not switching back and forth between the black and the white to muddy things up. And I'm going to go ahead and move down actually to the lid now. And I am going to go in with this Jane Cosmetics pencil. It's like a periwinkle color. And I'm going to put that over the lid just to add a little bit of a twist and a little pop of color. Nice. Remember, your transition color doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of slap it on there. Just kind of helps blend everything in. brush and just kind of smooth out the lines there. I'm now going to go into this little palette by Wet n Wild that I had gotten. It's called Will You Marina Me? And it has this nice like dark chocolate matte brown here that I'm going to put all over my bottom lid. Then again I'm going to go to another little Wet n Wild palette. It's called Hieroglyphic Heart and dip into this like shimmery brown color. It's about the same color as the matte, but it's more mm -hmm. shimmery. And just go over that, because I have to have some shimmer, you guys. So my little twist on things, I'm gonna go into my Morphe, this is the 35 OS palette. And I'm gonna take this beautiful bright orange here and work a little bit of this into my crease. Okay, so I'm going to go into this light palette from In Cosmetics down to this corner down here to this like kind of aqua bluish color to set this Jane Cosmetics and this is in the color Sparkling. Mm -hmm. So I'm just taking this really small just like eye detailing brush here and just going to try to focus this right in my crease. Just to add a little something something. Little shimmer on top. 
Cosmetics little palette here into this little it's like a really like deep chocolatey black with some little bit of sparkle there and just take that in my outer corner. Yeah, that's better. Is that what you were looking for? That's what I was looking for. Getting into the history of Brigitte Bardot and Twiggy of the 1960s, they were definitely two women who were known as fashion, style, and beauty icons. They're definitely sex symbols of their time. Absolutely. What I didn't know about Tweety, I knew she was young when she was discovered. She was 16. Really? 16 years old, yes. Wow. And she was literally named the face of 1966. Brigitte Bardot, she was actually French. They called her BB for short. Mm -hmm. And um, she was one of the first women to ever popularized the bikini actually mm -hmm. back in those days you know the bikini was just it was taboo yeah it was taboo and she was actually photographed in like so many places in france in a bikini and then she actually brought it over to america and made it more accepted here she was so beautiful she was idolized by John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, his very first song he ever wrote was about Bridget Bardot. John Lennon's wife would actually wear her hair and makeup the same way Bridget did, so her husband would think she was more beautiful. So that's how much John Lennon idolized this, this, this lady, this mm -hmm. woman. So um, she was a big deal. Right. Big deal. Alright guys, I'm back into this Life Palette by M Cosmetics into this just matte black shade and I'm just going to do a solid black line on the upper lash line for right now. Okay, so like I said earlier, um, Brigitte was very well known for starting the big winged cat eye and um, it's not like the cat eye you guys see today. Hers was very thick and ve very winged out, which I am going to do a tad thicker, maybe not as thick as she did. But I am going to do a tad thicker and she brought it all the way around so it's kind of like a big raccoon eye. But I'll do the top with some eyeliner and then probably just do the bottom with some black powder or whatever. So we're going to start on this. Now everything that I'm doing, first with a powder black I am going to go over mm, either with a gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner. We will see how adventurous and brave I'm feeling in a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to start out with this prettiest clay paint liner and just black and start etching out here. Do it, girl. I'm excited. I'm going to go in with this elf cream eyeliner and hit that top lash line right over that cream. I mean that powder, sorry. interesting way with her upper eyeliner instead of doing the wing she actually continued down and it became her first bottom eyelash so I'm going to do that and I'm also gonna pull it all the way in on the inner corner also at that downward angle I'm gonna go actually into this ultra flush black magic it's like a whole eyeliner kit it's amazing it is pretty cool and it has this really really just matte black powder which I'm gonna go over all, this, all the eyeliner I did on top of it with this powder. So I still have a lot to do underneath my eyes as well, but I'm going to go ahead and start on my face for now and go from there. Same with me. We still have a lot to do with the eyes, but we'll tackle the face for now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end with my instant age rewind here and do all that fun stuff. And first, I'm going in with this Cushion Wonder color corrector from Hard Candy. And then I'm going in with this guy too. 
Brigitte was very like minimal with her face makeup. So of course I'm going to do makeup and make it look as, min as minimal as possible with like contouring and all that good stuff. But I'm still going to add a little bit of mess in there. Exactly. And of course I'm going to bake. I'm going to take some of the RCMA no color powder and bake like a mofo. You do it. Also taking this on my sponge and just going over all those places I put concealer and everything. I'm just setting my concealer with some mix powder here. My old faithful. And after that I'm going in with just a big powder brush and just kind of do a little beat all over here. So go in with Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild with my damn sponge and then under my eyes with that. And then I also take it down the jawline as well. I'm going to go into this new Makeover Essentials contour palette that I've gotten and have fallen in love with. And I'm doing the same as she is. Contouring was just not a big thing in the 60s, but... Will you love it? So, <laughs> I'm going in with the Perfusion Contour Kit. Brigitte was known for her very, like, bronzy, golden, like, just out in the sun skin. So, I will go over this with some bronzer and some shimmer bronzer. So, you know, get that beach look. Super, super light with the bronzer because Twiggy was all about pale skin and freckles and light coverage and not so much bronzer, but you know, Definitely some bronzer. You kind of feel naked when you don't have all your steps <laughs> nowadays. I'm gonna dip into the Betty Moo Manalizer as well and do a little bit of this on the nose and pop the cheeks. Alright guys, for blush, I'm going to go ahead and go into this Klein Color Make Me Blush palette. You guys know we love our Klein Color here at BMPVP. And I'm going to go in and hit it first with this matte, it's kind of like a terracotta color. And hit that gently on the cheeks. And I am going to go into my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and wipe off this bake with it because I'm obsessed. Like I said, I don't bake, but I still think this is beautiful to wipe, oh, you know, yeah. underneath the eyes. It just makes it you look so much more awake and gives you just a beautiful, natural, delicious glow. Oh, right. And just kind of connect it on the cheekbones. Oh, it's so pretty. Essence, yes. I'm going to take a stippling brush. Yes, that took 10 times to say. <laughs> And I'm going to take this Apricot in the Middle blush from Wet n Wild and put that on top of my first blush layer. I also got this palette and all these like blushes and highlighters from Shop Miss A. This is their A2O line. And there's this gorgeous like peachy, like dark peachy color here that I'm going to go over that as well. Most of the time you saw um, Brigitte, she always had like really peachy lip, lips and face and stuff like that. So, could also dip into this NYX. It's called an illuminating bronzer. It is magnetic, but it's like this really pretty peachy color with some glitter in it. I'm gonna add just a tab of that. Putting our spins on and this is Beauty Made Piece by Piece, so we love our glitter. Exactly, and you know, we've always said that like the point of Throwback Thursday is to get the techniques and the trends of past, but to also flip it and twist it and put our little spins on it. Exactly. I'm going to go ahead and dip into her next illuminating bronzer here too. 
you guys ever feel that you get a little bit too heavy with the highlighter, which really is there anything ever such, I don't know. <laughs> Just take your damn beauty blender and it takes care of it. Exactly. If you don't have that, take your finger. Yep. I'm going to go into this Perfusion Highlighter book and take this first one, Starlight. Just do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to go into this Technique Get Gorgeous Skin Powder in Peach Candy. It's one of their new ones. I'm going to try not to go too heavy because like we said, she was very natural. I for it's more, yes. But like we said, yeah, we're not doing like authentic 1960s looks. These are like inspired by the 1960s. That's right. So now I am going to go to the under eye. I'm going to take that same matte brown that I used and kind of smoke it out underneath. And then I'm going to take that straight matte powder and go really sharp underneath. Because when she did her eyeliner, it was like, I would call it like a raccoon look. Mm -hmm. She right. did it all the way around. But we're going to kind of modernize it just a little bit. And do it just a tad bit softer, but still have that very sharp, black, huge eyeliner look. And as you can see, with a little help from my sis, she helped mm -hmm. me with the crease up there and then we decided to take the blue all the way up, give it a little bit of a modern twist, and I love how it turned out. It looks awesome. Alright, for the lower lashes, we're gonna paint some lower lashes on. To actually put a little bit of liquid eyeliner on the back of your hand, take an angled eyeliner brush, and that way you have a little bit more control and actually just dot it. Right. I'm just going to take this e.l.f. liquid liner and just go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand. Jumbo Pencil Milk and put that in my waterline to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger. So first I'm going to take a cotton swab and clear out any eyeliner that has gotten in there so far. <laughs> While she's on that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my lips here, which I'm going to keep very minimal. I'm going to line them with this NYX Pencil and Nectar. Then I think I'm just going to go over it with this lip gloss from Wet n Wild called Cherish. This is a very pale peach here. I'm going to go in with this Little Co lip liner and fill in my lips with this. Alright guys, so I think we're going to go off camera, add some lashes, and we will be right back with our final looks. Yep. had fun hanging out with us make sure you give us a big thumbs up because that lets us know what you like to see on our channel and as always please subscribe it really helps us out and plus you guys come hang out with us I think we're fun we are <laughs> and we have a lot of great videos coming up including a giveaway and we're just really excited for everything so please hit either that big red subscribe button below or at the end of this video you can scroll over our faces mm -hmm. just click that picture of our faces and you will be <laughs> subscribed that way it is that easy it is all of our contact information as always is down in the description box and it now even includes a facebook page you guys Yay! we're facebook official so yes. if you are on Facebook, head over our way and give us a like. So until next time, please remember that just like life, beauty is a puzzle. You gotta take it day by day. And peace. Bye, Bye peace. peace. Bye, Bye guys. guys.